Welcome to Toon Boom's Animation Starting Point Courseware video for teachers. Starting Point Courseware has been designed to teach your students the introduction to animation with Harmony Premium and or the introduction to storyboarding with Storyboard Pro. It's never been easier to kickstart your students' careers in animation. I'm Katie Renee Decotre, and I'll be walking you through what you as a teacher can see and use that is different from your students. We highly recommend you watch the video designed for students first, so you get an overview of the platform and what your students will be experiencing as they interact with the courseware. Let's log in. You will have received an email with your username and password, as well as a link to the courseware website. If you haven't received it yet, check your spam folder. When you first log into the platform, you'll be asked to change your password. Passwords need to be at least six characters long with one capital letter, one lowercase letter, and one number. If at any time you need to reset your password again, you can come to the Change Password tab here on the left. So let me pick out something secure and we'll log back in. The next time you log in, you'll be taking to your teacher dashboard. Here you'll be able to view all of your students and the progress they've made so far. If you are a teacher with multiple classes, you can switch between your classes with this convenient drop-down menu here. You can even set one of these as the default if that's something that you prefer. That way it's always the one that you see first when you log in. These search filters let you order your students however is relevant to you. As a side note, there are currently no checklists associated with our courses, so you won't need to worry about these two options. Here we can use the search bar to filter for specific students. Maybe I only wanted to see student A. The dashboard button will take you to a preview of your student's dashboard. This is the most general view you can see from the progress page. Here we see they've made 12% progress on their introduction to animation in Toon Boom Harmony, and only 4% in introduction to storyboarding in Storyboard Pro. The activity page is very granular. You'll be able to see all of their activity down to how long your students have spent on the site. Here we see everything specifically for student A, down to the duration they spent on the website itself. We can filter for different kinds of activities. Maybe I want to know if student A has watched the videos. Looks like they've seen a couple of them. Maybe I want to see only the duration my students are spending. I can also filter for that. If I want to view the activity for my entire class, I can use the Team Activity button here and get that same view for every student. Here we see student A, student B, and everything that the two of them have done in the course. But this can be a little too much information to look at. Maybe you would just like to see which activities in the lesson have been completed and how well they did. That's what the transcript button is for. Clicking on this one will open a new tab where you can see your student's transcript. Click here to expand the course view and see the individual lessons. From here, you can view your student's progress throughout the course and how well they are doing on the individual activities in the lesson. You can also see which ones they've completed so far and how well they're doing on them. Every activity that contains some kind of scoring requires a 70% or more to pass. Without that pass rate, their progress in the course will not increase. Luckily, interactive content like this can be endlessly retried to ensure that every student is able to make progress and finish the course with a good understanding of the material. Here we can see this course was started, but a lot of things were not completed here. This one did the quizzes, but they did not submit their work at the end. Now you do not need to stay on this page to keep this information. You can also download this as a PDF so you can refer back to it later. Here's student A's transcript. This will have everything already expanded for you so you don't need to do it yourself before you export. Now every five lessons or so, your students will be given a quiz to do. Right here. This is so they can test how much they've retained up till this point. Upon request, we will send you the results of these quizzes. 
With these quiz reports, you should be able to see exactly what answers your students are getting right and wrong. Every student has three tries at every quiz. They still need at least 70% to pass, but the quizzes give you instant feedback on whether or not you picked the right answer, so students can use that information to better inform their choices on the next attempt. Maybe 30... Uh, uh, no, 25. Unfortunately, that's incorrect. Reports will be separated by attempts. In this case, we can see our first student here attempted the quiz twice. They did a lot better on the second time than they did on the first time. Our second student only attempted it once. Now let's take a proper look at our courses tab. As a teacher, you have access to the teaching material courses. Let's take a look at the teaching materials for Harmony. They're a very short course, but both of these contain a link to the folder of all the files that you'll need. Let's take a look here. This is File Share. This is where everything you need for your students will be. We have the Harmony handouts for students. This includes Harmony files, Harmony PDFs, general lessons about animation. Your students will find everything they need within the lessons themselves, but we want to ease your workload and make this process as smooth and stress-free as we possibly can. That's why we've also included all of the rubrics for the course here to help guide your grading process. If your classes are registered for both Harmony and Storyboard Pro, you will need to go to both lessons, as the materials differ for the two courses. If you have yet to submit your students to the platform and are here before them, you'll have the option to submit the form with their names here under the first lesson. You can also email it to courseware at toonboom.com at any time. Both options will work. If you need to submit the form, you will have received this in your welcome emails to the platform. These are example names just to show you how it looks, but you would replace all of these with student, their first name, their last name, their school email addresses that they'll be using to log into the platform, and if there are more than one classes taking the course, you would separate them here. Once this form is saved, you can come to the user submission lesson, and upload it here. It does not matter whether or not you do this on the Harmony course or the Storyboard Pro course. When it comes time for your students to submit their work, it's going to be a little different. So let's take a look. Lesson three will be the first time in the Harmony course they are required to submit something to you. If we scroll down to the bottom of the lesson here, we will see down at the very bottom it asks if they have submitted their Fun with Dots animation to their teacher. In this case, it is just a true or false question. They do not have the option to upload a file here. When it comes time for your students to submit their work, they can indicate to you through the platform that they have done so with this true or false button here. This will up the progress percentage of the lessons, and you'll be able to see it in the transcript. Submissions will be done through your school's method of submissions, whether this be through email or your school's portal, server, Dropbox, etc. is entirely up to you. If they click false here, as if they have not submitted their work, once they check that answer, it will tell them that they need to submit their work to you before they continue, and this will still be marked as required. They will need to retry and select true. Now they can continue, and this is marked as completed. Now hopefully at this point you'll have gotten a pretty good idea of what to expect from your courseware and what you'll need to do for your students. We wish you and your students success on their animation journey, and we are here to support you every step of the way. Thank <laughs> you.